Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're going to be talking about how to get Wi-Fi into your garage, outside, or elsewhere around your property and one of my favorite solutions for doing that. So my entire household network is done in the Unify system by Ubiquity. And they have a very interesting product that has been key for me to be able to have Wi-Fi in my garage and to the exterior parts of my property. And that is this mesh networking extender device. And so this goes a little bit under the radar in the Unify system. It's a plug and play mesh network on the five gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. So it's dual band. And it gives you a few options here. So one of the things though, I do have to preface this in order to really be able to effectively use this is you will need another Unify device on your network that this can extend to or connect to that is also dual band. If you have an older Ubiquity device at a single band, it will not work quite as effectively. However, this can be used as a standalone access point. And if you do use it as a standalone access point, you will need to be able to install the Unify controller software on one of your computers to actually make this work. Or you can buy the dedicated cloud key and plug it into your router. And so I always love how the Ubiquity products come packaged. They just have very nice packaging in my opinion. If I can get this open here. So in the box, we get a user manual. We get the mesh networking device. It's got a little clip on the back, a couple little covers here for the antennas. We'll go ahead and take these off right now, because we're going to screw on the antennas that should be included with this. Also in here is a mounting plate, another mounting plate. This one even has a built-in bubble level, which is kind of nice. Two antennas. And then at the bottom of this package is a power cord and a power over ethernet injector. And then this also comes with a couple of zip ties that you could use to secure this to a pole. So this adapter here is actually kind of curved on the back so that you could get it around a pole. You can see that that gives at least a little bit of curvature to wrap that around a pole. This one is intended for flat mounting. And so this is rated for being placed outside. So you can have this outside your property, have it inside your garage, even if it might be moist. And then we can screw these on just like a pair of rabbit ears. And there we go, we've got that set up there. And then now at the very bottom of this, there's a little secret trap door that has a port coming in where you can connect the ethernet port into it or your ethernet cable into it. And it's just powered by power over ethernet. Now it's also important to understand with the ubiquity system, there are two types of power over ethernet voltages. There's a higher voltage and a lower voltage. This one runs on the passive standard of 24 volts. And one of the other little things that I'm not a huge fan of that Ubiquity has with their ether or their PoE injector is they give you this injector, which is nice, and a cord. Then you've got your incoming ethernet in here, your outgoing power and ethernet to the other side. And you can see on here, it very clearly shows 24 volts here at the bottom. Hopefully that shows up on camera, right? But then you've got this extra cord, and if I could just push these together, what I would end up with is actually this product here that I was able to find on Amazon. So I can plug this in the wall and then be able to then power this off of here without having an extra cord. So you just plug an ethernet cord into here to here and you're good. So you only need to actually use the incoming or the inbound ethernet on the injector if this is gonna be hardwired but you can have this connect wirelessly to a dual band router to be able to extend it. But again, like I said before, this has to be on a Unify system. Now, if you already have a Unify router that has uh, power over ethernet options, you may be able to power this directly with a cable coming straight from your router right to this device if you're gonna mount it, say, on the outside of your house. 
So here is that mesh access point installed. You can see I've got the black cable running down wrapped around that column coming down to the truss in my garage. And it's just bolted up there. No big deal, slides right on with the screws. The antenna stick out there and gives me great coverage for my entire garage. And then this runs right down to the same outlet that has my garage door in it. And then that plugs right into this black adapter I showed you earlier, which is the same outlet that I plug in my Ryobi garage door opener. So I've got this one cord that powers that, and that has a wireless uplink back to the house and then provides the wireless data that I need in the garage for anything else that's here, such as wireless security cameras or anything else I wanna be able to add to my Unify system or other devices out here in the garage. These are great, and in theory, if you've got multiple buildings or multiple places around your property, you could daisy chain these together, and this could also uplink another one further downstream back to here. It'd be several hops, obviously, to get back to the trunk of your network, but it works, and I've had this one now running for several years. I've got another one on the side of my house I'll show you in a second, and these are fantastic ways to get Wi-Fi around your property so that you have all sorts of options in your garage, your shop, or wherever that you need Wi-Fi that you might not otherwise be able to get a network to. Here's another installed Unify mesh access point here on the outside of my house. Obviously, I've got a cable penetration back in, so this is hardwired, but this helps to get Wi-Fi to the other corners of my property so that my wife and kids have access to the internet for remote learning, school, or anything else if they're playing on their playset, or anything else that everyone is happy and we've got a good network set up for experience for everybody. So pretty easy to put up, pretty painless. As long as you've got the Unify infrastructure and a dual band access point inside the house, you're good to go. Some of the earlier access points are not dual band, which could be a problem, but most access points probably purchased since, I don't know, 2018, give or take, are probably dual band and will work just fine with us for the mesh network. Now out here I have disabled the status LED just because I see no reason for that to be on out here and it works great. So any questions or comments about what I did here on this setup here, go ahead and leave it down below. If you've got a Unify Wi-Fi access point like this in your garage, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Love to hear about it. Tell you, uh, please share your story here. Any other thoughts, ideas, questions, or comments, share them. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Check back here often for new great content, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.